I think a lot of us around here probably have wondered about this topic sometime in your life. Um, so the topic today we're talking about is the choosing a career that brings you joy. So first, uh, let's talk about choosing a career. A doctor, an engineering, or a software developer? I hear you. Um, often enough, we get influenced by the opinion of people around us. Be a doctor and you will have a good life. Or this career don't suit you. Do you have any desire or you know, dream job that you hidden in your mind? We all have, right? In certain time. But if, if we consider a career is just like a learning experience, like any experience that you might have in your life, then there is an endless possibility out there. We all hear a lot of comment. The fact that we hear a lot of comment about ourselves in the society, suddenly our subconscious mind also hear them as well. Our subconscious mind will hear those comment and then absorbing it and manifest it. And then it will influence, influence our decision, the way that we live. Sadly, like many other, um, when I grow up, there's also a lot of comment about myself. Like, you know, don't need to study hard, just look nice, behave yourself, get married, and live a good life. Or, you know, girl, you don't need to work hard, right? My subconscious mind is full of blue, and I was very confused. At the time, there were just two places that I often find myself relief and smile. It's the, my bed, my bed and a corner of the bookstore near my house, where I read, I read any books, any story that I could. And I imagine, I, <laughs> I often imagine, you know, the handsome gentleman, Red Buckler in Gone with the Wind, or a strong determined family prize in Mankenfield. I'm sure a lot of you probably have imagined a magical Howard school in Harry Potter, right? These imagination and visualization have helped me surpass all the judgmental and guide me along the road, discover the outside world. It's my dream. Sinbird, we have lived in the world of management, where every day of our life is defined by countless comparisons, standards, and grace. These words assume that life is dangerous, resources are scarce, so it's limit what we think might be possible. If you leave this world, you will enter the world of possibility. In this world, everything can happen. Um, you embrace the life, open, open and welcome it with all its variety. Impact, invention, and compassion. If we, if we think about contribution, if we put our life thinking about contribution, we will fully immerse ourselves in the present. 
It doesn't mean that we accept difficulty or injustice. It just means that we are curious about our experience and paying attention to how we react and learning, learning to see things from different perspectives. If you welcome this mindset, then any career or any job that you have the opportunity to engage, we actually is the time that you build your resilient. You will stop thinking about the negative aspect and stop judging from the surface. Now, let's talk in about joys. Joys is a source intense fleeting emotion that help us feel alive, free, and connected with people around you. But joy is also meant to be unsettled, vulnerable, and free of losing that joy, foreboding joy. A lot of us living in foreboding joy without even realizing it. You see your crush walking by, your heart smiling. You want to make a conversation, but you're afraid of his rejection, so you didn't. You always expecting the worst, with the help thinking that it will prepare for your painful event. But actually, when you live in that, when you live that way, you take away all of the beautiful, incredible, happy moment that you might experience. Imagine if you step up and you make a conversation with him and then discover he also likes you too. Wouldn't that exciting? Right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> to allow ourselves to experience the joyfulness. Sorry. We, we need to appreciate, we need to practice appreciating, appreciation of the thing that we have in the moment that we have in it. Imagine, imagine that you see him. Wouldn't you feel happy that you see him? Wouldn't you appreciate had that opportunity? Even, even, let's say, something unexpected happened. But every day, if you choose a moment, choose one thing, and you show you're grateful about, even in the darkness moment, joy can also be created. Even even let's say you make a conversation and he actually reject you. You still feel happy. Why? Because now at least you learn how to make a conversation when your heart is on fire. Believe me, it's not that easy, right? When we are armed for successful, we are putting ourselves under a lot of pressure, pressure of failure, pressure of feeling not successful as your friends. However, if we arm for growing, then we are more likely to experience the joyfulness. Seeing ourselves growing and transforming, we will certainly spot the fire in yourselves and in the hearts of the other you will embrace that poten potential, then you can light the passion everywhere, transforming the life of the other. And that is very precious feeling. It's actually the key that you find a joyful in any career that you end up to be. In a million years, I would never expect I would be a, become an English teacher. And then one day, I saw a bookstore, um, a bookshelf full of English story without a touch. 
and I want to make it alive. So I asked a librarian to hold an English story for children in the city library. Seemed a student start to cry when she trying to answer some of my questions. I felt guilty. So I start reading any books, English teaching books, as I could to find the most effective way and joyful way of learning English. Seeing our leader struggling, facing the fast changing phase of our society, I want to assist them by finding the most economical way for majority student to study in the modern language, uh, modern um, education system. I enjoy seeing myself growing, transforming, and spark the fire in the student heart very much. Do I see myself? Do I see teaching as uh, my, you know, lifetime career? I don't think so. In my imagination, this this career it just it just like a building experience blocks in my life, where I've immersed myself completely in the present, trying my best effort, and learning all aspects that I could in a given time. Telling you this story as a way to confirm with you that our subconscious mind is a very powerful tool, especially when you combine it, your imagination and visualization consistent with action, you can achieve any design that you have in life. You hear with all more brilliant mind, curious and longing to be better of yourselves. Each of us have a unique fingerprint as well as a soul print from the day that you were born and through the experience that you have gone through. So don't be afraid of choosing a boat vision. Why? Because it pushes you up, pushes you to accomplish more and leave a mark in this world. Ignore all the setback, ignore all the pressure. Knowing you is enough. And then design the life that is uniquely your. Use the imagination and visualization to motivate you, encourage you to make the decisions in life. And then follow this three A action. The first is aware. We all have the weakness. We human, everyone does. So aware of your weakness, aware in it, and then admit it. Admit that you lack of something and willing to learn it because everything in life, eventually it's just a skill and skill can be learned and leveraged. And then act, actively seeking for the knowledge for advice, for opportunity, then you will have it. I saw this quote and I thought it's, it's something that it was so true for me and I'm sure that it will true for many of us in here as well. Don't chase love, money or success. Become the best version of yourself and those things will chase you. Thank you for the listening.